As the crowds make their way to the fourth day of the Cheltenham Festival, I'm heading into town to ask these punters who they're backing on Gold Cup Day. Right, so I don't like to back a favourite, so today I've gone for definitely red in the Gold Cup. I've done a double Apple Shakira and Santini double. <laughs> best bet of the day, Apple Shakira and the JCB Triumph. Next best bet, our Duke each way in the Gold Cup. Won the Irish Grand National on heavy ground. We'll go with that. So best bet of the day is Santini in the Albert Bartlett uh, beat Black Ops who just got started to Sam Crow, so that's why I'm back in at 4 one I'd probably say for today the first race, I would probably go with an outsider, so I quite like Mr Adjudicator, probably about 10 to 1 at the moment. Um, I am a man of outsiders, uh, in the Gold Cup I'm going to look at Total Recall and in each way as well, and I think in the second race I'm probably going to look at the uh, which is about 4 or 5 to 1. So Ian Circum's tip of the day, for all the followers out there, is in the 210, Moon Racer, put everything you can on because it's going to win. Great day of the races so far this week. Um, the number of the day has got to be my bike in the Gold Cup. Nothing beats it, wins at a canter. Top lads. My tip of the day is for the 330 in Cheltenham, Native River. I have £5 each way on it. I lost at the moment, it's 9 to 2. My uh, nap of the day is my bike in the Gold Cup because he's got a serious engine. I think over three miles will get the test he wants today and he will leave front to finish. The next best bet of the day is Santini in the 250 because I think he will see three miles out today on the soft ground. I think he's a winner. Nap of the day, flawless escape. Next best bet, Chef de Sobo. Love the heavy ground, three mile he'll beat Santini. Dolos, each way, get on him, he'll love the fences. Come on! So um, we just really come to Cheltenham for the atmosphere because we um, it's just cracking. It's the from the minute you get off the train, the, it's just amazing. The pubs, the horses, it's just good atmosphere. And I came for a first time experience to put bets on horses, and it was lovely to see the actual horse. So we were out on the stands yes. all all day, and, and a beautiful town, great atmosphere. And the weather was dry, so that was amazing. And it's going to be dry today. <laughs> Yeah, we're looking forward to today. We're looking forward to Turning Ambition winning today and to the day out at the races, you know, beautiful fashion. Well, we're a group of girls who go away every year and this year we decided to come to the horse racing in Cheltenham to make loads of money. <laughs> Hi, so we're here for a lovely day out at the races and we're not, we don't need to bet because apparently we're winning the lottery tonight, 45 million, so oh, yes. we're good to yeah, go. So It'll be fun to see the horses. Yeah, and we're here for fun basically. We live, I live locally and these guys are here to just have a good day. We come just because it's a lovely atmosphere. We live in Cheltenham and it's a really nice place to be. And yeah. it's We've been in Cheltenham for 35 years. For the first 30 years of that, we heard about the races at all and I never wanted to come. Came for the first time five years ago. Absolutely fantastic. Great day out. Uh, breakfast with friends. Got the races. Wonderful atmosphere, fantastic, great day. Well, we're, we're back here at Cheltenham Races again for the fifth year running. Um, we've, um, I've, I've lived in Twinning, uh, Gloucester for six years, and I'm quite new to Cheltenham and loving it. And can't wait to come every year. And amazing breakfast, three bottles of prosecco, great horses, wonderful time to dress up and look at the fashion, especially Ladies' Day. Our aim next year is possibly to do Ladies' Day and Gold Cup Day, and can't wait to do it. <laughs> Isn't that right, Anne? That sounds brilliant. We want new hats <laughs> and to look amazing. <laughs>